What's up guys, Grim here. I wanted to share some good news and I hope you guys will enjoy this news as well. I actually have done my first veteran dungeon in the Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, it, it may not be a big accomplishment to a lot of you people, but to me it definitely is because I'm one of those people that I've read a lot of stuff online to where I'm trying to figure out when it's the right time to do this or what gear I should wear or any of this. I'm trying to do all the studying that I can on the game and I'm hoping it makes me a better player at it as well. So I'm really wanting to try to do my best whenever it comes to anything I'm doing in this game. Well. One of the things I read online was where people complain all the time about people queuing up for veteran dungeons whenever they're not prepared for it. Otherwise, they don't know the mechanics of the fights, they are undergeared, they don't have the proper rotations, or whatever else. And so, like, whenever I would queue up for a random dungeon, the veteran dungeon would be the first option on the list. And sometimes I would accidentally queue up for the veteran dungeon, but once I got into the actual dungeon itself and realized that I queued up for a veteran one and not a normal one, it just haunts me all those uh, comments that I read online where people are complaining about people queuing up for veteran dungeons when they're not ready for it. So I immediately apologize and say, guys, I, I accidentally queued up for this. I'm going to go ahead and leave groups so that you guys can get somebody much more competent at doing this level of the game than I am because, you know, all my stuff is not set up for uh, advanced gameplay just yet. And I leave the dungeon and then I queue up for a normal one and try not to make that mistake anymore. Well, this time it's a little bit different. I actually got with uh, a, a tank that uh, queued up for a particular dungeon that I was in. It was a normal dungeon. We had a couple wipes on the boss, and the the tank just wasn't doing a very good job. I was it was either the tank or the healer. I was thinking because those are the ones that pretty much make sure the fight continues. The DPS is just there to take down the bosses eventually, usually. Uh, it's not really a DPS race at uh, normal dungeon modes, so that wasn't really a concern. So whenever we kept on wiping over and over, I knew it was either the tank or the healer that was struggling. And uh, I don't blame anybody for that. It's kind of, you know, things happen. You might not be strong enough. I'm not strong enough for a lot of stuff, so no blame there. And uh, I, just, I just figured that we wasn't going to be able to do it. So we had uh, the tank leave the group. Then we had a much better tank come in, and we still wiped. We uh, like, and this was one of those elite players that whenever he wiped once, he was like, "All right, I'm leaving," and he just left the group. Uh, so it was kind of discouraging. I thought it was all over, and uh, you know, might have to go ahead and let this group fall apart and try to queue up for another random or something. Well, then. A third tank ended up queuing up and coming in, and this is where you uh, will meet the person that I actually really got uh, going a lot with in upcoming veteran dungeons and stuff. And that's uh, this will be a name that I butcher, Irindil. Irindil, I believe that's how it said. If you look on the screen, it's the tank player there. Well, as soon as this person came in, they they immediately tanked down the boss. We got through it, no problem. It was super easy. I was so excited. And uh, we got it done. And I'm like, all right, cool. We got this done. Awesome. And this tank is like, hey, I'll queue up with you guys some more. You're, you're so nice being appreciative that I came and helped. You know, uh, I want to help you guys out some more. So let's do another dungeon. And I knew that the other players in the group were weak just like me and uh it was like a real struggle and i knew that we were just going to have the tank carrying us for the most part but you know if they're willing to do it i i go uh, i guess so i'm i'm almost in the mind frame that i i end up queuing up with a lot of good players a lot of the times so whenever i queue up with other players like me that are rookies at this game or else not very powerful it's kind of annoying. It's, you know, whenever you got a lot of bad players together, you know, it, it's a different story whenever it's just one player or something like that. 
Like, if I'm the only one, that would be fine. But whenever you have a whole group of uh, weaker players and there's only one strong, it's it's hard to get anything done. But I went ahead and said, you know, let's go ahead and do this. So we go through another dungeon. We beat it pretty easy. And uh, sorry about my phone going off right now. I, I thought I had it silenced. All right, there we go. Well, it ended up being uh, like the the other group members after the second dungeon they said you know what i'm gonna go ahead and leave it's dinner time yada 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 so these people leave the group and it's just me in that tank and i'm like hey i got some pledges we can do would you like to help me do my dailies and that tank is like yeah sure queue up for them so i queue up for them and sure enough I mean, it's an instant pop of a queue because this is a tank. I'm queuing up with the tank. Of course, it's going to be instant queue. If you're a healer or a tank, super easy to get a group. As a DPS, you might be waiting 30 minutes or something. But as a, as a tank or healer, it's always in high demand and you get instant groups. So I got into uh, another group and it was with some uh, 690 champion point level players. And we just smashed through the content. We, we died a little bit in certain areas and stuff because it was uh, one of the more difficult fights, so to say. And uh, But we got through it, and I knew I was playing with some stronger players, so I was very appreciative of it. Well, then they started suggesting, hey, let's do some veteran dungeons. And I'm going, I have never done a veteran dungeon. I'm not prepared for it. I mean... My gear is atrocious. I mean, it's it's 160 CP level gear, but nothing is a real set. I haven't farmed any of my gear. My skills are absolute trash right now. They're they're in so much chaos. Uh, I'm basically playing a two button build right now because uh, I, I put skills on my bar just to level them up and stuff while I was leveling up. Well, I haven't really went through and uh, rearranged my skills. I haven't respect or any of that stuff, which I plan to do just shortly, but I haven't done it yet. And uh, so I'm basically playing with like one DPS um, bow ability and uh, one like AOE ability and maybe a heal. That's, that's the three buttons that I'm able to use right now. I'm wanting to use a lot more, but I, I'm not set up for it yet. So, uh, and I haven't even looked up the optimal rotation because I'm trying to figure out uh, my gear sets now that I'm finally CP 160. You know, once I can start working on my gear, I start getting all my skills together. I mean, we're putting the package together at this moment, but it's not put together yet. And these players are going, it's okay. We'll, we'll make it through. I'm like, oh my gosh, really? We're, we're really going to do veteran dungeons whenever I am absolutely the weakest link here and they're like yeah it'll be fine so we queue up for uh, a veteran dungeon and we, we, we start going through it and i start realizing that it's not that bad it was it was the like the boogeyman feeling like you know the unknown you were uh, you see these posts and stuff online of people complaining don't let these players queue up for veteran dungeons and all that well, once I was in it, I realized that it's not that bad. Uh, yeah, the monsters have a little bit more health. Uh, they do a little bit more damage, but if you got a decent tank, they can handle it. Um, granted, some of the dungeons are more unforgiving than others, but uh, we did several veteran dungeons, and we were able to get through all of them with very little problem. Uh, I did die quite a bit because I'm very undergeared and i'm not used to all the mechanics but i mean even with like so to say a three player group not counting me because i'm dying and stuff i mean it was able to be accomplished without too much problem and granted i mean even these guys weren't dodging things very well we had an amazing tank but the rest of the guys were like getting hit by the red and stuff just like i was here and there and you know they just had uh good enough gear and everything to survive it and of course the healer makes sure that they heal themselves first uh but uh, or or even the tank themselves or the tank 
but we were able to smash through everything and I we did about five veteran dungeons and had an absolute blast at them we got uh, several of the monster helms so it allowed me to at least put together one of the uh, at least one of the uh, the sets to in order to have my monster set and then you know after that I can start putting together more stuff um, and I've, I've already been looking online trying to see what sets that I'm wanting to do for DPS and I see all the recommended ones so I'm going to try to work on them uh, I don't have like all the monster helms that I might need but I at least got the PvP one and a couple of the PvE ones uh, not particularly the PvE one that I need but yeah I think so far we're on good track now and I'm putting together my gear sets and trying to get my character all lined out so hopefully it isn't going to be much longer before I'm all set up and ready to take on these veteran dungeons without being such a hindrance to my team alright I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did smash that like button as usual my name is Grim and I'll see you next time